Hello, it's Scott Manley here with part 10 of Starflight. We are in a Veloxi space. We are deep in Veloxi space. In fact, that is the Veloxi home system of Vote Putox, or at least that's their star. And uh, we're trying to talk to them. Unfortunately, they don't want to talk to us. Regardless of how I feel, we come in peace and bring greetings from the planet Earth. Please respond. And by respond, I mean don't shoot us. But no, uh, it's their wimpy class 3 lasers against my awesome class 5 shields, class 5 lasers, and uh, of course, class 5 torpedoes, missiles, or whatever. Uh, we uh, have to be very careful here because a single class 5 torpedo will probably kill most of these ships. So we're shooting warning shots, trying to aggravate them, but uh, no. Here we go, is this going to be the one? No. One more shot! Show them who's boss. Fire! Alien vessel hit by class 5 missile and destroyed. There's like one left. So yeah, we're trying to hope that uh, one of these guys will see all his friends dying and think that he does not want to join them. Problem with Veloxi is they're like insects with a hive mind, so they don't necessarily think of themselves as uh, that important. But uh, that's fine, I'll, I'll just take the stuff that's left behind. I mean, I really don't want to kill them, but if they insist, I will kill them. I mean, apparently I've done something previously in the game which has ruined my ability to get a, you know, positive relations with them. I think I was supposed to bribe them the first time I met them and there's no way out of this. Or maybe they just don't like me being so close to home. I don't know. But uh, I do like the fact that they're leaving all this Endurium all around. 147 units. That should get me a th through a few battles. Okay, encounter number eight. And still they will not talk to me. Alien vessel destroyed. Okay, which one of you? Is it going to be Eeny or Meeny that's left? Or Miney, actually. No, wait. Meeny, Meeny, Miney. Well, that's four of them. Um, is it going to be Mo, Larry, or Curly that's going to talk? I shall name you Larry, and you are going to get... Oh, here we go. We is Veloxi, your best friend. Please not to be destroying us. Best good aliens and ugly. Us is surrender. Captain, they've lowered their shields. Captain, they've disarmed their weapons. And I have no idea what voice I'm going to do for an insect. Do you have any information you can share with us about your race? The best of questions and happily answering. We Veloxi is ancient in prestige, illustrious Veloxi empire. Too old they imagine, us is civilized the most. This is going to kill my throat. All Veloxi dream is to fertilize queen. To great the honor, of course, afterwards, drone is loose head. However, none the matter. Veloxi is feeding queen special best jelly. She is growing so big and live longest time. Maybe two kilometers a measure and living 500 years. Most gracious queen living on Votiputox, hive world of Veloxi. It is our hope that our respective people will enjoy a long and mutually beneficial friendship. Actually most reasonable and not never mind. We are interested in information concerning your race. Can you help us? Veloxius worship queen and also ancients, great ancestors of Veloxi, grand, lovely, sacred planet of ancients, is Vexi. Do you have any information to share? Queen is communicating to all Veloxi drones through hive mind. In ancient day was losing focusing stone. Today is lost, much the sorrow. Sorry. The best of questions and happily answering, we Veloxi is ancient... Oh, we've known this one before. So they go through the same, same loop of answers, so, so we'll ask them about other races now. We're interested in other races. Other races, small, important. Veloxi are number one importance. Other races not even knowing prophecy of egg. Barbarians, certainly. The Veloxi, I think, are kind of proud. Veloxi laughing at other races, not even knowing how to meeting end of life in galaxy like most civilized Veloxi. Spam and race is too much extremely the cowardly stupid, not even tasting good the icky blob. Elowan plant and Thrin scaly beast is always fight. Thrin scaly beast is attacking many time. Veloxi had thinking all human were destroyed in second wave. 
second wave is Ulek and Gazertoid attacking. We would greatly appreciate. Ulek is powerful the most. Gazertoid squid minis is follow behind Ulek. Has Ulek moving outward from Corward in second wave? We are interested. Now must be going, greatest buddy captain. Okay, another... Aha! We found another one! We as Veloxi, best friend, they've lowered their expectations of survival and disarmed their... with comments. Disarming comments. Veloxi is extremely delightful. The old empire was wiped out. The empire was many scoundrel activity. Too naughty. Asking about the old empire. Old Empire was tried to colonize the many planets, always the expanding, they was using drones called Nomad, to collecting data, many drones still coming around Veloxi's space, it annoy Veloxi too much. In the year 3120, Veloxi and Empire was made pact to fight first wave, wave was attack Empire first and Veloxi help, then when attack is on Veloxi, grand lovely, Empire is not helping. Uh-oh. The Empire were betraying Veloxi wonderful in the first wave attack of Flegmac and Numlox, so when second wave is attack, Veloxi is not helping. Aha. And Empire is too weak. Empire is destroyed. Too bad. So much for that. We beg for info. In Empire year 3330, Veloxi and Empire not buddies. Evil nasty Empire pirate naming Harrison is attack Veloxi's ship and steal focusing stone. Veloxi is so angry, even now Veloxi not forget. Old Empire pirate was stole precious Veloxi stone. If ever returning, Veloxi too grateful, I think so. I think that's what I actually have. We as remember ruins of Old Empire being at 31-328 on Ice Planet of Downspin System in Staff Constellation. Veloxi Exploration is find the long times ago. I'll have to go there. It is humbly suggest we'd like to know infos. In the old time, Empire was having base in Veloxi territory at 28 by 4. First planet of Yellow System at 143-115. This planet are forbidden, however. We beg upon honour our poor selves and bestow wisdom. Not the information. Veloxi are not know. How about the ancients? Seeing you later, crocodile. Okay, well, so much for that. So, uh, yeah, cool clues. And more shooty shooty. Shoot shoot. And I. here's the thing. Maybe I should put, like, lore power lasers on this thing so I can just keep, you know, pinging their shield. Oh, here we go! Us is surrender! I, Captain Zichu! It's Captain Zichu, who looks just like all the other Veloxi. Okay, Zichu, I will teach you, haha. -ha. We would greatly appreciate- no way, that's my voice. The Ancients is ancestors of Veloxi. Veloxi legend is saying, Veloxi is powerful race. Ancient powerful race, obviously as a relative. The Great Egg at 192-152 is made by ancients. It is of course looking like Big Veloxi Egg, exactly. The most magnificent hexagon on sacred planet Sphexi is a sign from ancients, so wonderful Veloxi descendants. The small egg is there, most sacred of Veloxi possessions, absolutely. We would greatly appreciate info. The most magnificent hexagon is, of course, signed to Veloxi from Ancients of Holy Number 6. Most perfect of all numbers, of course, Veloxi are six legs, the only race. Not in the information, Veloxi not know. Uh, more information. We are long time receiving Old Empire distress call from 17594. Of course, Veloxi could caring less. Most extreme important system of Veloxi Grand Lovely is guarded by Veloxi drones. The most destructive. All must answer in questions correctly. We are interested in for information. Exploring is finding the many interesting lives on planets in 149-133. Veloxi is study. Too interesting, I think so. 
Do you have information? Certainly the most perfect number is precisely six. Phylloxier know this absolutely. It is sacred number of agents, ancients, and of course, the six legs. First wave attacking was Flegmac and Numlox. Waves of attacking is coming from Corwards. First wave are attack in year 3000. No Veloxi is known that Ulek look like. Ulek is far away outwards. Much happiness for cause Veloxi. Um, Flegmac and Numlox is dead. The last battle of Supreme Veloxi is kill. Last battle being at 3250 at Flegmac base at 35 south on second planet in handle of axe. Most assuredly. Waves of attacking races is coming from Galaxy Center. First wave in year 3000, second wave starting year 3400, Hulek and Gazertoid. Gazertoid squids is fanatical stupid, is think to rid Galaxy of air breathers. Veloxi can't believe. Seeing you in a while, alligator. Okay, I'm really, I don't know where my insect voice is going. Well, with those clues in hand and my throat saying thank God, we are heading out of here. We're going to check out the downspin planet on the staff, uh, the staff constellation. We have coordinates on the surface of an ice planet. Uh, so we'll just look for the ice planet and see if we can find the infos. Aha, coming up to the downspin planet of the, the staff constellation. In five days it will flare. And there are three ice planets to check, so I guess I'm going to just land at the coordinates on each of them. Orbit planet, initiate orbital maneuver, and prepare to scan this thing or something. Uh, science officer, scan away. Oh, we have some biology, nitrogen, oxygen, water. Sweet. Fro I think the gravity is too high, though. Subarctic to temperate. I think... I think the, the gravity is too high for people to live there. Let's uh, lower my shield as well. Um, bridge, Captain. Let us land on this planet and investigate these coordinates which we, which we have. And where are we? We are at over here. 32 and 9, 10. Oh, no, wait, it's over 34, 8. There we go. Descend upon the surface. Oh, heading into a winter wonderland. Hopefully a winter wonderland full of ancient ruins and endurium for my spacecraft. Although I'm kind of packed as full of endurium as I can manage. Oh, look, there's probably some loot there that I don't need. Ah, we have a message. Let's read it. Institute Research Reportment to Report to Illawan Homeworld, Base 60 South, 45 East. We have ascertained that the dead zone is coreward of the X-coordinate 200. We have also determined that the cause of the flares is somewhere coreward and upspin of our present location. Well, given that this is pretty centrally located, most of the universe is coreward and upspin. But thanks! Uh, okay, so is there anything else in range? Oh, so glad I clocked this emulator up a little. Now, it does not look like there's anything there, so we're going to embark and head back to orbit. I think that was what we were looking for. That is a most excellent outcome for this particular landing. Hugs and champagne all around to everyone. Uh, except for you, Jebediah, I'm not so sure about hugs for bugs. I mean, the kind of exoskeleton and six legs are a little off-putting. Okay, party's over, we are back into orbit, and we have a new destination to head to. Uh, remember the other coordinates we were told about, the old base, the Empire base? Uh, that is also the location that the Meccans told us about. They told us that there was a, a Velox drone there. Let's go and check it out. So yeah, 143, 115, head to this planet. And we come up in orbit. The star is slightly unstable. Orbit the planet. Scanners indicate unidentified object. What do we have here? Let's uh, scan it first. Let's put up the shield, actually. Scientist, what do you make of this particular thing? It looks like a bat wing, a batarang. Endurium and cobalt. It's only one-tenth our size, but their shields are class five. Hmm. Let us hail it. Any 
robot-like manner. We come in peace and bring greetings from the planet Earth. Please respond. Respond. Receiving. 69. No, I do not want 69. Six. Six, yes. So yeah, the trick here is say no if it's not, not a multiple of six and say yes if it's a multiple of six. 24 is a multiple of six. That is the correct answer. Strand nine. Ah, they are permission to orbit granted. Six is the Veloxi holy number. They have a bunch of probes. When you find them, you have to answer six all the time. There you go. That's what that was all about. And if you don't know about that, of course, if you've played the game before, you can go straight there and cheat. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted to find that out from the Veloxi themselves. Nitrogen, oxygen, atmosphere, subarctic to temperate, liquid, very thin. Um, yeah, that's not so bad. Bridge, and wait a second, what are we doing? Analysis, subarctic, that's not what I wanted to do. What was I wanting to see? Nitrogen, oxygen, water, and plutonium. Yes, we want plutonium. Let's log this planet. Name of this planet shall be six. Number six. I am not number six. He is number two. Uh, number two. Number. The Prisoner was a great TV show in the 60s. Okay, what was the coordinates? The coordinates. Uh, let me look back at my logs and find the coordinates. Okay, select site. Here we go. 30 by uh, 20. 20, there we go, almost, come on, yes, 28 by 4, and descend, descend towards this beautiful paradise of a planet, uh, with no, yeah, let's not do that, that would take too long, okay, landing on planet, and saying hello to the ancient ruins, what are we going to find here, activating the terrain vehicle, and we have ruins all around, all sorts of fancy bits and pieces for us to investigate. Ooh, we have a black egg. What is that? Reconnaissance report to offensive headquarters at 56 uh, on Mardan 2, fighting the gal. So yeah, we know all about that. We've actually already gone to those offensive headquarters, so we don't need to know that infos. We will need to find out what that black egg device is. Let's just take a quick look around, see if there's any other loot around here. Obviously, there's a bunch of animals and stuff, but my cargo bay is full of juicy, juicy endurium. The, the I don't know, the, the awesomeness that is powering my engines through hyperspace, letting me cross the vast gulf between the stars. And cross those vast gulfs we will have to because we want to head home. We want to find out the nature of this black egg device. We shall do this back at the ranch. Come on, guys, it's back to the ranch. Or, hey, Veloxi crew, it's back to the hive. Or, Elowan crew, it's, it's back to the garden for you. Um, or whatever. Come on, get, we're put down roots back at home. Um, yeah, so we're heading back, you know, four times regular speed. Yay. That's saving us a whole lot of time. Back at, of course, 125, 100. We're getting a lot of encounters because of that device. Close the doors really fast. Disembark. And let's go in. Okay, what do the operations tell us about it? This colon planet proved to be suitable for colonization. Excellent. And there are no new messages. Nobody's wanting to talk to me. What does the store want to say to me other than, oh my god, is that a pile of endurium or are you just happy to see me? The black egg, what does it tell us? Yes, what is it? This appears to be a bomb of some sort. The type is unfamiliar. To activate it, you must drop it. Okay, well, I'm not going to drop it then. At least not until I find a suitable target in a future episode. Until then, I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.